Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohi and today we'll talk about that audit. Let's say that I have a table called test and in this table, um, I have a data called new case. Now this data, that new case, I am changing the value new case from new case to the I mean, new case one to the new case. So whatever value I am changing, that should be recorded in somewhere so that as a administrator, I should know that who changes those value and we can I can report that in case of uh, some mismatch. So let's say that some user came up and say that, um, that this value got changes uh, how and when. So I should get these details that who changes this value and when this value got changes from where value to which value. For that, we can, uh, you know, um, uh, how we can enable that. So that thing will talk about that. So if you see here right now in this table, if I right click here and then go to the history, I have only option called calendar and I don't have any options called list. So normally uh, if you go back to the incident or other table, so let's say I, if I go back to the incident table and open any incident, Under this incident, if I right click and um, go to the history, you have option two option, calendar and list. And if you click the calendar or list, you can be, you will be able to see all the changes will be recorded here. So let's say that I will change that to uh, rest outbound testing to the rest outbound testing one. So this value will be recorded into this uh, calendar view as well as list view to see that in future who, who, the cha who changed this value. So if I right click here, configure and then uh, I mean history and then click calendar I should get an uh, entry here called this was the previous value and this is the new value and then value changes from rest outbound testing to the testing the same thing if we try here over and over this uh, value changes will not be recorded for any of this custom table so our uh, today's our we'll talk about that how we can enable that so if I right click and go to the history and then calendar these value changes are not recorded from which value it got uh, which value. For that, what we have to do, we have to go to right click and configure and then dictionary, the first thing we have to do. And under this dictionary, you can see that one variable called collection. So type, the variable type is collection, you need to show match that. And you can see the table is the u underscore test, that table we are talking about, that column name is empty and then type should be collection. So we have to open that um, record under this dictionary entry. And here we have an option called ta uh, audit. So you can see we have an option called audit. We just need to be enable that audit and save that. Once we save that, this field, I mean, this table will be audited and any value changes on this table will be captured. So let's go back to the test uh, table one more time. So if we go back to the u underscore test table and somebody change this value, uh, let's say the new case four to the new case. So let's say I'm changing that and save that. Once this value changes happen, if I right click history, now you can see two options is available. One is the calendar, another is the list. If we click calendar, you can see there is a two record, two changes right now. Previously, this was initial setup and this is the new uh, changes that I have made. And uh, what field the value changes, the name field have some changes. Previous value was new case four. And then after that, the recent value is the new case. Now, whenever I am changing any value to this, so let's say that I'm adding the description, say call that new description and save that. All these changes, whenever you, uh, change some value in this record and save that all these changes will be captured here under this uh, as it is audited now you can see there is a three entry right now and the description before value was empty and the new value is the uh, new description that is uh, what it is showing now going back here if we go and configure and list so you can see uh, we have also another option called list so calendar, if you select the calendar, the data will be shown as a calendar. If you select list, you can, you can, uh, you know, um, show that how many times this value got changes. So this field value got changes and you can, uh, you know, uh, get the changes based on the name. So let's say that um, I want to change that. See, the first, it was name. I will add that update time uh, jet to it. So you can see the first, the name value was empty. I put the name equal to one. Then um, again, name value was four and then the new value is the uh, new case. So in this way, how many times the value will be changed, all this value will be stored here. So this is the least way we can get that, that, um, you know, 
and another audio is that we can hear the calendar so that's it all about how we can uh, check that audit uh, record for, i mean how we can enable the audit for a table uh, so if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you very much have a great day